Man, John Link's for fucking losers, bro. Bet you anything to do, you soy boy. And why would he go journal? He can go have some fun and go play League. He can't even read his fucking handwriting anyway because he hasn't held a pen in like four years. <laughs> so he copes and he goes to play some League. And even if he went and journaled, he'd look at what he wrote and he wouldn't be able to read it because he can't read his handwriting. <laughs> and he'd say, this shit ain't helping. And then he'd go back and cope. People don't understand because they're not really taught. Journaling is the most important part of that day. That period of time where you can reflect can literally take you out of fucking depression. That's how brazy it is. Now I know what you're gonna say to me. I know you're gonna say, well, okay, I feel fine. So I'm gonna go back on TikTok and edge for another four hours. But the, the people who say they're fine, 99% of them, they ain't fine, bro. They got a little bit of a mild depression sprinkled with a little bit of anxiety, bro. That 1% of people who are actually fine, it's because they journal. <laughs> Literally, this takes five minutes to do. I'm going to do it right now. Just do it with me, all right? Go get a pen and paper. If you don't have that, so why right, just do it on like notepad or some shit. I do it on pen and paper, but it's really inconvenient for me to like show you how to do it on paper. So I'm just going to do it on Notion like I used to do. All right, so literally what you do is just like write down the date. So this is like the 16th of July, 2023. All right, and then from there, all you got to do is just write down what you've done today. But more importantly, write down the shit that you've really like been thinking about. So for example, for me, I'd write. Right, so that's a good example. Now, I would write a little bit more like about my day, but that's just like the example of like what I've been thinking about. Just do it like that. All right, so that's an example. So I first off started with the issue today. Like I did actually feel that. I would have hit, I, like, I went to go hit back and buys. I saw like someone I know, like an acquaintance. So like we did it together. Hit some shoulders too, because he was hitting it. I was like, fuck, I need to scale on this shit too. Um, bias could have been hit better though. I won't, I won't lie. Uh, I was kind of pissed off about it when I was going home. I was just thinking about it the whole way. But then when I went home, you know, I was like, you know, I'll just hit it next time. It's fine. You know what I mean? And having that mindset, I was really happy about. But aside from that, the day's been pretty good. And I literally just wrote that right there. That's how you do it. It's very, very simple. Now, the first one you'll do, unless you have like honesty, you're going to write down, I'm feeling fine. The next one, same thing. The next one, same thing. But eventually you'll start being honest if you're not already. And you just say, you know, I'm not fucking doing good. And that's what we've been fucking waiting for, bro. Congratulations. You felt like shit and you've recognized it and you've acknowledged it. You've been all the therapists. You've been in life, bro. You know when you write down what bothers you continuously at the same time every day, by the way, you'll eventually recognize the pattern. And when you recognize the pattern, you understand what's actually making you feel like shit. So for example, for me, I like to I get in my head sometimes. And I'll just think about the world we live in now and like how fucking hopeless it is. And I get into some black pill, not black pill, but like some really doomer shit. And then it really fucks me up. But I understand because I keep on journaling about it, what the issue is, so I can actually tackle it. Because I've identified the issue, I can now find the solution. So for example, in my case, I have to reframe my mindset. And just remember the videos I make? Well, they help people out. And that goes against this whole fucking doomer mindset, bro. That's how you do it. It's very fucking simple. I ain't a fucking doomer, bro. I'm not a fucking doomer. I just, like, I, I get, like, I think about it sometimes. That's it, bro. That's it. Coping. <laughs> but when you journal continuously, and you figure out what makes you feel like shit, you're on top of your mental health. Because you now understand what it is. And then from there, you have the ability to go and, like, tackle it. But that's, like, another step. First off, just build the habit. Just journal consistently every day at the same time and build the skill up because it is a skill and just figure out what's making you feel like shit. Congratulations. <laughs> of course, again, do the other stuff after you consistently do this. I'll make videos on like the next steps, but just start with this. It's very fucking simple.